disaster recovery. Okay, talking once again about disaster recovery and relating that back to the workload portability concept within our plate spin product line, what we're looking at is plate spin protect products. Okay, plate spin protect is much like plate spin migrate. It's also installed on a server in your environment and leverages workload portability technology to, to achieve server protection. Okay, plate spin protect, once again installed on a server somewhere in your data center. It can be either a physical or a virtual machine based installation. Once the product's installed, much like plate spin migrate, plate spin protect needs to learn what servers you're interested in protecting with it. So once again, plate spin workload portability um, leverages the discovery concept to go out across the network and learn what's happening on the individual server's machine. Okay, so from there, we basically build a profile uh, of what this, what this server looks like. So it's hardware configuration, software configuration, any drivers it's currently running, operating system, uh, any services that are currently running on the machine, and things of that nature. Host name, current domain it's connected to, and all that good stuff. Okay, once you've pointed plate spin product at the machine that you want to protect, or machines that you want to protect, point plate spin protect at the target protection environment. Okay, now plate spin protect supports two different target protection environments. Uh, one of them can be a virtual server host, much like we looked at migration before, and plate spin protect can also leverage workload portability to protect to an image server. Okay, so this is what plate spin protect can look like in the user's environment. Um, it's installed on a machine, you point it at all the servers that you want to protect, and you also point it at the target of the protection, or the server that's actually going to contain the data that you care about maintaining in the event of a disaster. Okay, so dealing with this one option first, we're going to look at just protection to a virtual machine server, and we'll talk about how that's very similar to protecting to an image server target. Okay, so the job process is pretty much the same with respect to plate spin protect. What, what you're trying to do in Migrate, okay, when you're running a server migration, is send all the data from the source machine across to the target side. Okay, and once the data copy is complete and the final configuration is run, you're pretty much finished. Okay, it's a one-time copy of all the information from the uh, server here to the target server here. Now, in the case of protecting a server, that doesn't really add up. Okay, when we're talking about protecting a, a server that's constantly being hammered by uh, production traffic okay, and is still running and continuously running jobs from the outside world, what we need is not just a one-time capture of all the data on the source machine. We need a mechanism to ongoingly, after a period of time, okay, an interval, let's say once a night, once an hour, once every four hours, a user-defined interval, we need the ability to not just take the initial capture of all the data on that machine, Protection is really all about the automation of ongoing data captures and only capturing the data that's changed since the last time we looked at that server. Okay, so protection with plate spin protect and the whole, it ties in the concept of workload portability once again. And we're leveraging that migrate style capability, getting all the data, just the workload data from the server across to its target environment we're also looking at the automation of ongoing incremental jobs where we go back to this server after a user defined interval of time and find out just the data that's changed since the last time we sent the data across the wire. This server then, once queried, just the data changes, it's sent back across that wire to that virtual machine that's ready and waiting, okay, that's maintaining all that data. Um, in the event of a disaster, this virtual machine is ready so that you can turn it on. Okay, we will unmount the special ISO that plate spin leaves there just for copy reasons, and we will boot up this VM so it's able to take over. And this way, because it's been maintained through these ongoing incrementals, we are able to boot up this target machine in the event of a disaster so it will be able to take the place of the source machine. Okay, so a quick recap on plate spin protects leveraging of workload portability to back up and protect servers. Once again, it's installed on a server in your environment, either physical or virtual. The user, when they're looking at protecting a production machine, is interested in not just a one-time data capture of everything that's on that server, because they know the data is going to change over time. They want a backup in case of this server failing, they want it to be able to boot quickly, and also they want the ability to configure how often these incremental jobs, which send just the changes in data 
from the source to the target side so that in the event of a true disaster where you lose the functionality of the source machine, this VM has been regularly maintained with up-to-date incremental data snapshots, is now able to be booted. Okay, once this fails, this VM can be turned on and therefore the user is back up and running in their regular service level uh, with their regular production capability and a very minimal downtime.